I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be bribes for sex and relationships. Well, I've got an email here from a dude who looks like he went to super pleaser, do boy, manservant mode. And uh, just shaking my head after, after I read his email. This is a classic of what not to do to create attraction and why guys that do these kinds of things never get anywhere other than being in friend zone. But before we get into it, I got a quote I'd like to share with you. And it says, if you put women on a pedestal and treat them like a celebrity who you are not worthy to be around, they often will take advantage of you and not respect you. Many men in their desire to seek the approval of women for love will often mistakenly believe that by fixing their car, kitchen sink, mowing their lawn, acting like their therapist, etc., instead of simply making dates to have fun together, will somehow cause women to be attracted to them and want to date them. In reality, it simply comes off as a bribe for sex or a relationship because deep down these men don't feel worthy of their love in the first place. If you don't respect yourself and your self-worth, women won't either. So in essence, what this guy is doing is he's expecting all of these external events and things that he's trying to do for this woman are going to make up for the fact that he doesn't feel good enough for her inside. And this never creates attraction, so let's jump right into it. He says, hey coach, here's my situation. I had a girlfriend at first, she was texting me every day from daylight till dark, and then she came down to my house a few times, and then out of the blue, she says she can't do this, and that it's it's her, not me. That means it's you, not her. In other words, she's saying you turned her off, but she's trying to soften the blow and not hurt your feelings. He says that's He says, that's a little down, but whatever, so I go... To this bar and she's dancing close to me and I'm dancing with another girl anyways that girl leaves and I ask her to dance she comes home with me and after that she came down a few times and then we start going out she just finished university and is going for going back for a year and a half of school we figured it would be hard but we would try it because we both cared for each other well obviously in this case you definitely care a lot more for her than she does for you he says it wasn't bad at all and I had mixed emotions at first because my dad said that maybe I could do better. Your dad's giving you some good advice, bro. He says, I did things for her like mow her lawn, bought her mother and her father dinner that was 100 bucks, surprised her for her graduation. He showed up with flowers and a card. He says, I drove an hour out of my way to put a new battery in her car. I got up at four in the morning with her niece. It, fe it feels amazing being with her. Well, I was always a little jealous and because she has lots of guy friends and we went out one weekend to a party and a guy had his arm around her and she didn't resist and I was just sitting there pretty mad at her. A woman that does that doesn't give a shit about you and she doesn't have any respect for you and she doesn't appreciate you because obviously she knows that no matter how much she jerks you around, you're going to be like a, a seal if you've ever been to SeaWorld and when they feed you, because you can buy food, you can throw to the seals and how they're like, arr, 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 and, and they start groaning. To it's kind of like the way you are. It's like no matter how much she disrespects you, you're just like, hey, thank you. May I please have another? He says, we went to the bar and I used the washroom and I came out and she was walking with another guy and I pushed him. Well, that's good. He says, I was, what you should have done was just said, this is bullshit. I'm out of here. He says, I was told to stand up for myself earlier, so I did. Well, it doesn't mean you start beating the crap out of other people because at the end of the day, she's the one that's disrespecting you and you can't beat up people around her and cause her to feel more attracted for you. All it's doing is confirming that the way she's treating you is correct because you don't have any self-respect or self-love for yourself and you're ignoring the fact that this girl is jerking you around because you're projecting your high attraction level onto her and you're not paying any attention to the fact that she's not reciprocating it. He's cuz I mean initially like she said she was over it. He says she was upset and was right to be upset. While this was going on, I also find it hard to go out sometimes cuz I get nervous 
and I had a tough upbringing by, and at times I watched my mom go through depression. So I watched her and I get nervous when going out. She understood that, I think, to a degree. So it tells me you told her all of your sad life stories and how your childhood was messed up and how it's messed you up, expecting her to feel sympathy and feel sorry for you, hoping that that would cause her to love you more. All you're doing is communicating, A, that you don't feel you're good enough for her, and then B, you're giving her all kinds of reasons why you're messed up and you're fucked up and you're not deserving of a woman like her and therefore she's going to treat you accordingly. People will treat you exactly how you perceive yourself. He says, but she also said things like it's her and she's going away and she wants to do whatever and not have to tell the other person where she is because you're all focused on trying to lock this girl down and chase her and over pursue her and a woman will never can never have time to, to develop an emotional bond for you because you're always blowing up her phone and chasing after her, trying to do things for her, trying to wait on her hand and foot and communicating that you have no self-respect because a guy who has options and has choices would never put up with this bullshit. He would never go drive an hour away to mow her fucking lawn all this other kind of crap. You know, So you're mowing her lawn and she's out with some other dude. He says, she's going away and I get it. What I don't get is she said things like, oh, I've never felt this way before and I've never felt this way about someone so quick. And the one that really gets me is, you're the person I want to end up with. Well, you got to understand, when a woman says things like that, that's indicative of how she's feeling in that moment. And these are obviously things that she probably said when she first met you until you started over pursuing and trying to be her manservant or her therapist. He says, and then basically break up with me and doesn't seem like she cares. Well, she doesn't really care. That's why she's treating you this way. All you got to do is look at her actions. She doesn't appreciate you because no matter how much she jerks you around or blows you off, you just keep coming back for another helping of it. He says, I tried to get her back. I sent her flowers and I wrote a poem. I texted her, called her to the point where she said, if you don't stop, I'm going to change my number. It's like, dude, now you're acting like a stalker. It's like, that just doesn't work. I'm sorry. It's cute. You see it in the movies. Girls go, oh, it's so cute. But when you do it in real life, it fucking creeps them out. He says, I didn't realize I was bugging her and all I wanted was to fix things and fight for her. Again, that's more shit that you see in the movies that you got to prove yourself to a woman. You don't have to prove jack shit to a woman. I wrote an article. And so if you Google Corey Wayne, you have nothing to prove to women. You... Being you should be enough for her, but you're doing all of these external things to make up for the fact that you don't feel good enough for her, and she can't help but treat you this way because you act like you don't deserve it. You're not acting like a man around her. You're acting like a needy, insecure woman. That's going to turn any woman off. He says, I was jealous, yes, and I do have some issues around my confidence. You think? He says, but it seems like she has issues as well. She said she watched her father cheat on her mother and stuff and she's hot and cold and now it seems like it will never happen and I do love her. Well, she learned in her family that being devious and cheating on those that you supposedly love is acceptable. That's why she has no problem. You drive an hour to see her or whatever and she's happy to have men all over her and putting their arms around her and she doesn't push them away because she doesn't give a shit about you. I'm sorry to be brutally honest with you, dude, but somebody's got to. He says, I want to see her before she goes away for a year and a half, but I don't know if I should ask her. Give me some advice, please. I wouldn't do anything at this point. Walk and never look back. And if she calls you or texts you or reaches out to you, say, hey, let's get together. I want to see you. When are you free to get together? Make a date, hang out, have fun, and hook up. That's it. Stop talking about the future and being with her and ending up with her and all this, this kind of nonsense. I mean, she's moving away for a year and a half and you cannot act like a stalker and cause her to want you. It doesn't work. I mean, there's, I can't remember the name of the movie right now. There was one with, um, ah, oh God, I can't think of his name. He holds like this boom box above his head and he stands out in front of this girl's front yard and uh, plays this music. And of course she gushes and says, oh, this is romantic. He's acting like a stalker. It's so pretty. Well, that movie obviously was written by some fucking geek that never got laid in high school. And so now he's writing scripts in Hollywood of the way he wishes things were. And you see shit like that. And you obviously probably don't, didn't learn from your own parents 
a, a good healthy relationship to emulate. And so you're, what you're doing is you're following what you see in movies. And it doesn't work in real life. He says, I'm a soft guy and will do anything for anyone. And she fit, she fit in with my family and loved my family. She was willing to try new things. I just love her and want her back. Well, like I said, there's really nothing you can do, dude. You've over, acted like a stalker, or stalker and, and you've just chased her right out of your life. And, and on top of that, you've just shown absolutely no res- self-respect and no self-love and you act like you're you are not worthy to be around her you treat her like some kind of celebrity if you've ever seen some of those nerds that chase after the celebrities taking pictures and chasing after Britney Spears going, oh Britney you're so pretty oh please talk to me please look at my camera and it's like this, this is the way you look dude it's just it's not attractive you're not acting like a man acts the best thing that you that you can do at this point walk never look back if she reaches out to you, make a date to hang out, have fun, and hook up. If she won't do that, just say, great, I got to run. Give me a coffee. Change your mind. I'd love to hang out and leave it at that. But I would say more than likely, you probably never will hear from this girl again. And the best thing you can do is start practicing the things that I teach and start acting like a man around women and stop all of this trying to wait on women hand and foot. You're never going to get anywhere doing that shit. It's simple. Nature's already taking care of attraction. Make dates, hang out, have fun, and hook up. Make definite dates, and if a woman won't do that, withdraw the offer and say, hey, give me a call if you change your mind, or give me a call when you figure out your schedule, and we'll plan something then. Men walk and never look back. Don't try to keep somebody who doesn't want to keep you, who doesn't act like you have any value to her in her life. And the, the more you keep chasing someone like this, the, the further you're going to delay attracting someone into your life who you can get things right from the beginning because if you keep doing this kind of behavior, more than likely this is kind of the way you've probably acted in the past with all women that you've wanted and you're never going to get anywhere with this dude. It's just the way it is. So if you've got a question or a situation you'd like to get my help with personally, the quickest way is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the products tab at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions for booking a paid phone coaching session with yours truly. And I will talk to you soon.